and welcome to the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 66 where I talk about audio coffee and other things that keeps me busy. And one of the things that is keeping me busy at this time from a little bit cloudy Rotterdam is a communication I had with one of you and like we did a few months ago where somebody had a problem with the system we showed it to all of you and you came up with great answers to help this subscriber and today I have something similar so let's see what it is thank you so yesterday I had a conversation with one of my subscribers Dave and instead of sending email after email he decided to send me a little video showing me his system and more importantly showing me his problem and his problem was this there's quite an audible hiss there that i'm getting there's quite an audible hiss there that i'm getting now Dave's guess is that the hiss is coming from his shit money or maybe from the unshielded cable that he made himself that he uses from the money to the amplifier. And as you can see he is using a Wilsonton R8. So the question of course is do any of you have any idea what this hiss is or maybe you have some tips for Dave that he could try? We already shared some ideas, but as we are with 1600 people now, I was hoping to use our connective knowledge to help Dave and solve this. Just write your idea or suggestion in the comment section below so Dave can react to you. And as you can see, Dave has a very nice listening room and what I of course appreciate very much is the one dedicated listening chair. Now I hope you like this little challenge and now let's go back to the vlog. Yes, so I hope you are able to help Dave out and if you are anything like me, of course you were thinking during that little clip, well, let's show the whole movie, I want to see everything that he's got. Well, I got you covered. So at the end of the vlog, I will be playing his whole video that he sent me, including his own voice telling you about this. So stay till the end. So what else is keeping me busy? Well. One of the things, of course, is the review of the sound artist equipment. As you know by now, the SA200IA stereo amplifier right over here. At the moment, over here are the S5B loudspeakers from um, sound artists. And why are they on the floor? Because Somebody asked me, well, why don't you compare them to your Lin Caton loudspeakers? And I thought, well, that may be a good idea. So that's what I did. So at the moment I'm still reviewing and this is what I'm playing with. And you have to wait for the review to know if this is any good or not, if this is a success or not and I don't know when the review will be coming out but I'm doing a lot of filming and I believe it's going to be a very nice review again so these are the lens that I'm playing with at the moment um, almost oh yeah almost yesterday I don't know if you have ever seen these Grundig loudspeakers the Audiorama 8000 these are omnidirectional loudspeakers so there's multiple loudspeakers two bass and two mid highs in the in the the bowl that you can see over there and yesterday I almost picked up a pair of these but for the state they were in and the quality uh, that they looked and sounded like it was just a little bit too much so I, I declined but well I almost picked one up one set of this up um, when I was young an aunt uh, of mine had a big house and she had four of these in all the corners and this always stayed with me as something that is on my wish list and now suddenly they appeared on what is called Marktplatz in the Netherlands um, like eBay or Craigslist 
anywhere else. So I didn't pick them up. I did get to listen to him, but they were well too damaged to really pay that much money. So those are not here. And then of course, there is another pair of loudspeakers that I unboxed uh, earlier this week. And to see where they are at the moment, we have to go downstairs. Hello there. So the BBC LS35As, which are not from the BBC, but from Sound Artist, are now standing in my little room downstairs. This is with the cover on. And this is what they look like with the cover off. And at the moment, I'm burning them in with this Nakamichi SR3E receiver that I got some time ago. And I am using this Nakamichi CR2 cassette deck to play it. So they get some playtime, they get some burn-in time um, before I start going to listen to them seriously. Um, and also this is going to be of course a review and also here you have to wait what my findings are in the review. Let's go back upstairs. All right, and for those skeptics who think that burn-in is not a thing for loudspeakers, get yourself a pair of S5Bs from Sound Artist, new in the box, and find out for yourself what a difference burn-in can make to a loudspeaker fresh out of the box or sometime later when you have really played with it. Anyways, for today, I'm going to close the vlog and remember, I said I have the, um, the video from David at the end so you can see the whole video. Now, please be kind to David. He is giving us the opportunity to have a look at his system, a little look into his private life. So um, please help him and be nice to him in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Right, so um, this is the Yamaha streamer that I bought that I might sell, probably will sell actually. I don't even know why I got it really. It's not really that much use to me because um, I'm mainly playing with my phone attached to this, which again is not very convenient, but it's the best sound quality that I can get teamed up with, as you know, the R8 down below there. Moving over here, we've got my record deck, which has got the uh, Project Carbon tone on. It's got a load of modifications on it as well, but I'm still doing things to it. In fact, I've just ordered a new motor for it and um, a power supply thing. So that should come tomorrow, hopefully. So I'll have a nice weekend doing that. This is my IKEA shelving that I told you about. And the XTC, this is a very good little amp here. Very powerful and great, actually. And I, I had that originally teamed up with this handmade uh, passive preamp that somebody on eBay made for me, and that's a really nice little piece there as well. But I'm, again, I might sell this stuff, I don't know yet. And there's the shit manny, um, and this is where the issue is, Ivar. So I'm getting a lot of hum from this. Um, I'll just switch it off for a second. As you can see, my speakers are over there.
because I'm getting a. Uh, hold on. So that seems nice and quiet. Oh, wait for the little red light to go off, as you know. <sighs> Should have done this beforehand. So, if we go over to the speakers. It's quite an audible hiss there that I'm getting. And I know that I've got the right impedance on the cartridge and everything. And then the man is set up correctly and everything. But I think it might be the cables. So if I'm gonna go behind here, you see these quite long interconnects that I made. And I think I might be getting some signal issues with these. So I might need to shield them. I wondered what you thought about that, basically. Any advice would be welcome, mate.